And you see the rails on the side? Yeah. Yeah, so that's what's going to slide. All right. Is it lined up? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So I think it was just sitting in there wrong. You know what I mean? Because that slides in way easier. Yeah. And it's still, it's still got angle to it. I don't think yeah. it's supposed to be sitting up there. Yeah, because when I first picked it up, there was like a little yeah. bump on the side, and they were like telling me about it. And I was just checking it out to see if everything was fine, but... Yeah, they better not give us a coil with the bonk. Punch me in the mouth. They give me a bad coil. I know what the bee does to people that give me bad coils. Typically in Colorado, when it comes to air conditioning, I've always traditionally pushed a 13 sear or a 16 sear AC. But out here, the 16 sear makes sense. 13 sear, you know, makes sense too. And then, like I said, if like when we put in a 407C condenser, it's normally for businesses that are just they don't care. It's yeah. just they want the cheapest stuff in yeah. terms of price. Or someone that's selling the house in a year and they just yeah. need AC. Okay. Um, single stage. It's it's really common out here. It's just a different market than maybe in Phoenix where your AC is supposed to run constantly. People typically only see the cost recuperation benefits of a 13 or six versus 16 sear here. And so there's not really a need for those higher efficiency systems. But after having installed our first Daikin fit, uh, one of the things I really liked about it was that the price point was so much closer for a lot more technology. So when you take a, a 17 sear inverter driven variable speed uh, system and then you pair it or com compare it to a 16 sear single stage system, normally there would be a, a price difference of several thousand dollars just for the equipment alone. But with the Daikin fit, it's at such an affordable price point that for a few hundred dollars more, you can get something that's space saving, so it takes up a lot less space. It's side discharge, so you can you need minimal clearances in order for it to function properly. And because it is inverter driven, it makes up for a lot of the nuances that we deal with um, in a, a lot of markets, not just Colorado, but in Colorado particularly. 20 to 30 years ago, people didn't really necessarily need AC because but global warming has made it something that you do need it more. Um, and as a result, you needed less when you were running a furnace uh, versus an AC. Traditionally, you need less airflow um, than you do with air conditioning. And so what's happened is as systems get retrofitted with air conditioning, they don't have enough airflow because of the duct design. And one of the things that's nice about having an inverter-driven variable speed system is that the indoor unit and the outdoor unit communicate together and so the expansion valve is actually communicating right, with the compressor more. at the same time and so if you have a four ton system but okay, there's not stop. four tons of airflow and there's only enough airflow to uh, account for maybe three and a half tons of cooling the system's not going to overwork itself causing it to ice up or not run properly it's going to throttle back its capacity to three and a half tons or whatever it can max out at. Um, so it really makes the most of the duct work that you have existing and from your from your existing system. It's just, it, it's nice to have a system that you can kind of drop in and works well in a variety of applications where we struggle with sometimes adding an AC that's big enough for someone's house when they don't have enough return air or they don't have enough uh, duct work or supply duct runs in the house and a lot of systems they're just their duct works inadequate to handle a lot of furnaces anyways the furnaces are oversized for the ducts um, but when you talk about air conditioning the ductwork is extremely undersized typically and so having a something in our arsenal like the Daikin fit really makes it easy to get a system that works well so this was our first time installing a Daikin fit or my first time installing one personally and one of the things I noticed as soon as, I mean, the, the installation process was really easy. It wasn't much more difficult than, I mean, it's, it's all relative, but it was, 
it wasn't necessarily a whole lot more complex than installing a traditional 16 sear. There's a few extra steps, but it was uh, pretty straightforward. And once we installed it, the way the system worked was just really nice. It's whisper quiet when it first kicks on. Um, I liked watching how the capacity would throttle up and down based on the demands of the house. One of the things that was a little bit different is when you tie in the furnace with the uh, outdoor unit and the indoor unit, the evaporator coil, in conjunction with the thermostat, basically the final step of the install, normally there'd be a lot more calculations and adjustments that we would do uh, to kind of tweak it um, to get the system to perform the way we want. Whereas with the communicating system, it kind of just jumps in and it knows more about what's actually happening moment by moment when it's cooling to where it'll throttle itself up and down based on the demands of the house um, and how the ductwork is performing, how the system is performing, what the static pressure is. And so it was really cool to watch it do that. When we first turned it on, the um, we installed the Daikin One thermostat, which is like the Nest version made by Daikin, and it's a communicating thermostat, which is what you need in any type of inverter system. And it, it was just impressive to watch how well the system was doing compared to maybe a normal single stage system or something that doesn't modulate itself in the same way that this system does. And so just my first initial impressions after having installed one Daikin fit is that I'm sold on them. Um, if I was due for a system, it's definitely the system I would put in my house. So like bang for your buck, this is the like best system I've ever seen installed at this price point. So I'm super, like having this been my first one that I personally installed in commission, this is definitely worth its money. Yeah, after installing it and we showed the customer, they were, they liked it as much as we did and they were really excited with the size of it, how quiet it was. They were impressed with the, the installation and the quality of the system and they were just really happy with it. You can just hose it, okay. put the hose angle downward okay. and just spray it off and it should be good. Okay. So other than that, flow maintenance, okay. um, it's small. It was exciting to see the customer like it so much, but it was also, I, I still feel like we were more excited just getting to install one and see it in action was uh, was really cool. The the Daikin fit for a traditional most applications is a very good system. I'm very impressed with it and with the price point being as competitive as it is right now, um, it's definitely worth considering.